Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we made it here to the volcano-y fire fountain, whatever the hell the name of this fucking place was called. And now we're fighting a file, f f an evil elemental? Can we even hit it with physical attacks? He looks invisible, but apparently it doesn't matter. We can still bash him in the face. There ain't nothing wrong when, you, when you're when you ethereal, because we can still bash you in the face. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Anyways, I think we are well on our way to finding the eighth sanctuary location. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna make it in this episode, guys. I think we're gonna make it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Now, there's actually uh, the ladder or the rope that I climbed, and there's another door that I actually went into last episode. I decided to go ahead and climb the rope first because I don't know. I just wanted to see what was up here. I thought maybe it was just gonna lead us around to that chest down there, but maybe not. Maybe this is the way to go. I don't know. I guess it can't hurt. As long as we can backtrack through here when we're done. Uh, like I thought we were going to be able to do in the last episode when we have got the other Your Sanctuary location. I was like, cool. When we're done here, we can just go back and get anything I may have missed. And then we fell through to Dinosaur Land and that didn't happen. So, whatever. I fought one of those soul-consuming flames last episode and it kicked my ass. But this time, we handled it before he even got a chance. You didn't even get a fucking chance, sir. You can have your psychic shield. I'm just going to bash you in the face anyways, Major Psycho. Major Psycho. Awesome. Actually, one thing I forgot to do that I was going to do in between episodes is I have that flame pendant that I used to have equipped on Ness, and I haven't I don't I didn't equip it on anybody. It's just sitting there unused. And I think I'm just going to give it back to Ness, or should I give it to Jeff? No, you know what? Let's give it to Ness because if Ness dies, we're fucked. In the long run. If we can keep Ness alive, I'm happy. His defense will go up a little bit, and he'll be immune to fire. The rabbit foot is nice, but it's not its not very defensive. It's just for speed. Okay, cool. This did lead me to the treasure chest. Sweet. So that wasn't a waste of time. Or I shouldn't say it wasn't a waste of time, but it wasn't like a... I wasn't going to miss the chest, which is what I was worried about. I'm also going the correct way if I want the treasure, and I'm still going to have to go back. But that's okay. That's all right. We gon' still gon' do it tonight. Mm-hmm. 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 Grab our treasure. Be good. Be good. Bag of dragon, baby. Bag of dragon. Dude, when I first got a bag of dragon night, I thought it was gonna be like a rare item that you only get like one of in the game. Don't waste it. But now we've gotten fucking like three of them just by finding them. And then I found a place where you can get them in the freaking Shy Guy house or Shy Guy Village or whatever, and you can get them by trading Horns of Life. So it's like, well then, we can get an unlimited supply of Bag of Dragon, and so it's a lot less special to me than I originally thought it was. Doesn't make it any less powerful, but it definitely means the next boss I fight is going to get a Bag of Dragon to the face. Well, maybe. It is bloody likely. Oh look, we got a green. Aw oh, yeah, we didn't even have to fight it because we got a green. I enjoy that immensely. All right, let's move on with our lives. Next area. Next area. Er, mm, er, mm. This one has flames in it now. In the last episode, we walked in here and it was empty. This time, not so much. Get bashed. Get baby bashed right to the fucking dome. How have I not said baby bash this entire time? Baby bash is a rapper or, or singer or whatever you want to call him. He's an R&B artist. And, uh... I have not mentioned him once in the entirety of this Let's Play, even though we've said Bash about a million times. The only reason I even thought of him is because I actually am kind of a fan. I'm not a big fan of Baby Bash. He's okay. Uh, it's been a while since he's been relevant, I'll tell you that much. But I, I, the song I remember is particularly when, it, when I think of him is... That's my shorty, do up. That's my shorty, do up. That was my shit back in the day. Back in the day, like, ten years ago. I, I guess that kind of is back in the day now, isn't it? God, I feel old. It's weird when you feel old when you're referencing things from the early 2000s. Like, like it was so long ago. But I guess technically it has been that long. We're in fucking 2014 now, man. <laughs> 2014. You know what I mean. We're, we're high up there in years, man. Okay. Uh, 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 why could the... Why? Why? Just Why? No, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me! Oh, he just edged closer? Ah, kill him before he kills you! Kill him before he kills you! Why does my things do so much damage to this guy? Does he just have no defense? 
Maybe because his attack is so high or his flaming whatever is so fucking strong. They make him so he just has, like, no defense. That's very convenient for me. Okay, there's a lot of directions to go here. I'm actually going to go over here to the left or the right because there just might be a treasure over here. Yeah, see? I'm glad I checked. I just walked back for no reason at all. Cherub's Band. I bet you we can only equip that on Paula. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Must be equipped on your arm. Oh, I thought I was going to say Paula. Defense up. Can't be hypnotized. And your luck. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if I want to equip it here, though, because... Actually, we might want to give it to Jeff. Wait, arm? Either way, giving it to Jeff seems like a good idea. Because I think... Uh, just oh oh okay it's better than anything that we have whatever I'm still gonna give it to Jeff. Jeff's gonna get left kind of getting left behind here without not not being able to block fire like Ness and Paula have so I might as well up his D a little bit. Give him some D if you know what I mean. I really feel like the one thing this game has been missing in the in the general sense of the game cuz there has been some good versions but is is great battle music. I mean, sure there's been some pretty good jazzy tunes for some of the battle music, but overall the battle music is just not there. It's like non-existent. It's like ambient weird. It's not even really music. It's like just sound effects. Hi butterfly. This room is useless, but it has a butterfly. Ah, uh, fire. Okay, it's green. That's cool. Free win? Free win. I like free wins. Free wins are good. They're very good and less time consuming for you and me. Oh, awesome, man. This room doesn't have flames in it anymore. Sweet. Moving on. Flame. Green? Yes. Oh, wow. That flame up there on the top said, fuck you. You're not fighting that guy by himself. No way. Not happening, bro. I'm going to bash this soul-eating flame first. And isn't it nice to have Ness have better accuracy? I know the Casey Bat was ass whipping cool, but him being able to hit more often is very nice. But yet, he still gets dodged. So here I am, just wrong. Just wrong. I'm just wrong. I can't help it. I can't help it when I'm just wrong. Fucking game. Just likes to every time. Every time. It's a curse of a Let's Play. Anytime you tout anything good, the opposite will happen. It's just, that's just the thing that happens. It's just a thing that happens. And this game is no fucking exception. Jesus. Like, if I had tried to get the Sword of Kings while recording, I probably would have spent like eight and a half hours doing it. As it was, that took me three and a half, almost four. But it probably would have took me eight and a half, if ever. I probably would have got to level 99 and had to give up with my life and not even have gotten it. I was actually reading a forum where people had spent entirely the whole all the way up to level 99 and still didn't get it and then there's some people who got it within like the first hour or less and it's like well fuck those people man fuck all those people who get that lucky i want to get that lucky man and sometimes i have i can't say i haven't been that lucky with item drops before i've had some games where it's like oh that's rare boom got one on the first battle or like first few battles it's like what that's not fair but there are on occasion where I just have the worst luck ever and it takes me long, long hours of grinding and fighting to get the item that I want. This game was a good example of that. At least it showed up though. If I would have spent all the way up to level 99 to get that shit, I would have been super pissed. And I like how I'm talking about this now when this is something that has already been irrelevant for two episodes. We already got the Sword of Kings. Let's stop talking about it. Let's just live with it. Stop talking about it. Die, Soul Consuming Flame! Just die. Nobody racks you. Do you know that nobody racks you? Because now you do. Nobody racks you. Bash this fucking dome. Two doors. Let's check the middle door first. This door leads to a chest. Or a present. A present chest. Because it's definitely there. Moonbeam gun! Oh snap! Moonbeam gun! Moonbeam gun! Own it, son! Moonbeam gun! Gonna own motherfuckers with the moonbeam! Gonna beam them from the moon! Operation! Preparation! Sorry, got that wrong. Preparations A through G were a complete failure. But Preparation H 
That's what I'm talking about. It feels good on the whole. Death Ray? You pale in comparison to the Moonbeam. If we run out of space and inventory again, I'm just gonna drop some shit like the Death Ray. You saw how much money I had. We ain't need no more monies. We can just drop everything from here on out and we will be just fan. Can we unspawn these enemies? <sighs> I just wanna unspawn the enemies. Just despawn them, please. I don't wanna fight two flaming fucks. All right, this is the last try. Okay, cool, they despawned. Haha, <laughs> all I had to say was last try. Yeah, right. That never works. I got lucky there. Oh, of course, though. As soon as we walk out the door. Three more! At least we got an easy victory. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I better kill these ones, too. Otherwise, they're gonna ass rape me as I go up the ladder. Oh, look! We got a back attack on them, too. Aw, oh, but we have to fight them. Fuck you and your cohort. Die, flaming fuckers! 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 Ness, Paula, why must you miss? You had free attacks. Free attacks are not fucking cool when you fail. I almost feel like the commentary in the last three episodes that I've recorded, well, the last two and this one, meaning three, has been kind of annoying. Like, I don't know. I guess this isn't the first time I've kind of felt like I've been annoying on this Let's Play, but sometimes this game just likes to induce some rage not like anger rage, but like madness. It just makes me want to go nuts. The game just, it, it brings that out in me. I think it's just the, I really think it's the weird music that the game has. It just gives me a weird game feel. Plus it's an RPG, so I'm just like mindlessly mashing the A button when I fight these battles and I'm just like, uh, oh, uh, what do I say? Let me just yell at the screen. So I apologize to anyone who happens to not like the style of commentary for this Let's Play. I mean, it's just what it is. What am I supposed to say? It really is hard to do a, a commentary on an RPG that you don't know what to expect. All I can really do is hope that something story related happens that I can talk about. Because until the next story related things happens, I'm here just babbling away about whatever I, was, I see on the screen or not. And like, I have nothing to comment on about the story. But at the very least, we're here at the end. Speaking of story related things, what good timing. Are you ready for another Yo Sanctuary location? I'm ready. Let's do this. The last one is here. We're here. Time to fucking do this shit. I love that we got here about halfway through the episode, too. Even more beautiful. Whoa! Awesome! Flaming Dog of Doom. Why is he called a carbon dog? That's lame. You could have came up with something way better than that. Come on, Nintendo. Alright, what are we doing? Let's beat his face in. And you know he's weak to fucking ice. There's no way he's not weak to ice. I'm super going super hard on him. I'm just gonna go hard. Go, go, go. I go hard. Yeah, eh, eh. Oh, well, you know what? What if he has a fucking shield up? I'm, okay. I'm gonna be safe on the first turn because if he has a shield, it's gonna destroy myself. Let's be a little bit wary. Okay, cool. He doesn't have a shield. In that case, you're fucked, my friend. That actually did not do anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping for. Um, wow, he doesn't even have a weakness or nothing either. That's kind of weird that he didn't have a weakness. You'd think his weakness would be fucking ice. But apparently that ain't the truth. And that only did 200. That was not worth the 28 fucking PP accounted for. I'm just going to do beta. What goods can we throw at this fool? No, 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 no. What goods can we throw at this fool? HP sucker. Uh, we could use a bag of dragon, but that seems useless on a fire enemy. Um, we don't really have anything else. I wish I could fix this bazooka, man. Bazooka, man. I should have fucking grinded at the healing spot, I swear. Ah, whatever. Um, we have more than one of these. Let's just use it and see what happens. What else am I going to save that shit for? We have more than one. We got another one right here. Right here. He doesn't have anything else he could do, so let's just ice this fool. Ice this fool. Actually, we use Star Storm. See what that does. Might as well. PK Star Storm! That actually did more than Cypher's Omega. How disappointing is that? And he's solidified. Oh, and oh, this is this is already over. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, don't do that. What? 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 Uh, no. Please don't be diamondized. Okay, well, eat my dragon damage, bitch. Oh, shit. No, don't. He's a dragon. You can't do that. So, that was bad. Um, yeah. That was fun. Okay, first off, we're healing Ness. 
and then we're gonna keep going back to the frozen attack, I guess, because he got the shield now. Uh, he can't do physical damage. I mean, he doesn't have any psi abilities. So can we use HP sucker on him at least? That'd be nice. I guess we're gonna stick to using moves, psi moves. Um, after healing this next turn with Ness, I'll probably use some vagina on this guy. Or maybe I'll try flash, see if it does anything. HP sucker? Does it work? Yeah! Now we're talking. That's some good shit right there. That's some good shit right there. Yeah! Oh shit, his shield became stronger. I'm so scared. You know what I think about that? 98 degree- No, I'm not gonna do it. That's so much fucking PPs. I don't even wanna even try to do that. I'm actually gonna try flash and see if it does anything good. I don't see any reason to do any of these other ones. I guess I'll just do Gamma, because I can. I don't fucking know. Let's try Thunder. A little bit of Thunder. Jeff, you are pretty much useless. Well, we could try the HP Sucker again. That was pretty awesome. Let's try the Hungry one. See if that does anything. Um, You just keep Star Storming. We're, we're, we're cooking with fire now, guys. We're cooking with fire. Funny that I say that on a guy who's fire. Oh, Thunder missed. Oh, Thunder missed. Fuck, I didn't press that. Oh, damn. If it would have hit him more than once, that would have been nice. I'm going to keep doing that thunder move. Diamond Dog got failed. HP Sucker. Didn't work. Well, the hungry one didn't work. The regular one worked fine. Haha, -ha, you missed on everyone but Ness. In that case, I'm just going to heal Ness because I can. Stop crying, Ness. Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to do Thunder thunder Gamma again. And you are just going to use the regular sucker and see if it works. Maybe it doesn't work because he has full HP. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. not going to worry about it too much. Um, let's just Star Storm. Star Storm is reliable. I was thinking about doing the Thunder one, but Star Storm is a reliable 300 damage per turn. I'm okay with this. Bam, sucker. Ah, miss. Ah, miss. Paula, your efficiency rating is low. And that doesn't work. Okay, so he has full HP. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's why it's not working. I guess I'm okay with that. His shield is ridiculous. I guess I could try to get rid of it. But then, where would be the fun in that when we have all this vagina we'd be using? I'm gonna use this one and just see what it does. If it does nothing, then whatever. It it does nothing. And you know what? I am gonna try. I am gonna try to use the neutralize and see if it works. Neutralizer, do it. Actually, I think in this case we should do shield killer. I think. I'm not entirely sure which one kills which shield. I kind of forgot. East no matter. Either way, something will happen. Or nothing. Or something. Paula tried thunder. It missed. It missed. It hit. Yay. Ness tried vagina. Okay, let's see what this does. Damn the power of vagina all up in your eye. Oh my god, it didn't even work. You gotta be kidding me right now. And neither did that. You gotta be kidding me right now. That that just shit did. What the fudge, Chapaka Naga? What the hell? Vagina didn't even work, man. Didn't even work, man. Well, for that, I paralyze you. Because, fuck else, what else can I fucking do? I don't even know right now. Paula, go back to using the freeze move. Not that freeze move. Yeah, use this one. Jeff, fuck your world. You're. God, you're useless. You are just so useless, sir. Pooh, you're about the only reliable damage I have going right now. Do your thing, bro. Oh, he's out of PPs. I think I have some good PP healing items for him, though, like that he has in his inventory, so we might as well use one. Like, have those DX... I did not press that! Ah! Oh, never mind. He's dead. Wow, I can't believe I pressed that right when he died. Maybe that was a glitch. I glitched him dead. Probably not. All right, cool. Levels up. 82, man. You're crazy, Ness. You're crazy. Dude, everyone's in the level 70s. That is amazing. To think, just a few episodes ago, we were like 40s and or 50s and 60s, and now we're in the 70s, and Ness is in the 80s. It's like we're dick. Super riddick. Whew! Ate your sanctuary location, though? In the biz ag, son. In the biz ag. I don't know why I said such a lame word like biz ag, but it happened. Aw, oh, yeah, fire fountain or whatever it's called. Oh fucking yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Yeah, what is this all going to culminate in, I wonder? Sounds so unrecorded. It's the fire spring, not the fire fountain. Ew. So now what? Oh, we get to see the entire song. Shh. Listen to the lullaby. <laughs> Doesn't that volcano look like a fucking dick and balls? <laughs> the lava part of it. Oh my god. Now what? What's happening? White screen of death. Oh no. What? Ness, you're all alone. What is happening? What is happening right now? This doesn't look good, guys. This does not look good. This looks bad, in fact. This is not good. What? What is happening? Who are we? What are we doing with our lives? I, mm, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Could it be bad that we went to the Year Sanctuary locations? That Wouldn't that be a twist? Ha ha ha, you went to all these Year Sanctuary locations. Now you have made me be able to destroy your world. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be fucked up. Is that Funky the dog? Young Funky the dog? Is that is that where we are right now at our house? That's what it looks like. That's what it certainly looks like. Are we? Wait a second. Is this a flashback? Like with he did say something about Ness hearing himself crying. Holy shit! It is, baby Ness. Baby Ness. Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Okay. Ness. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? I guess so. Try putting that red cap on him. Ha! <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope Funky won't be jealous of the baby. Oh, he will be. Let's celebrate with some tacos! I was gonna say, let's fuck to celebrate. What the fuck? I didn't press that shit. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna be rich and famous. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. Magical power, baby. Is that it? What's happening right now? What's happening right now? I don't know what's happening! I'm going crazy! What the hell? What the fuck? What are we doing? What is happening? Why are we in vegetable land? I'm scared. Help me, please. Where are we? What is happening? Are we just... I thought it was... <sighs> Let's just calm down and talk to the old man. Yes, you've stood on the eight power spots of the Earth. From these, you created Magic Kant, the realm of your mind, and Magic Kant, those beautiful kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. Holy... Wait, what? You can't turn purple. That's not cool. How come it turned purple? That's scary. I like purple, don't get me wrong, but what the hell, man? That's scary shit. I liked it better when it was all green and bright. Is, it, is the purple side the violent side? <sighs> Whatever. So, we're in Ness's mind. Okay. Hey, look, it's his house. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is at the edge of Magic Ant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Oh, yeah, you don't say? Is there anything I can do for you? Sure. Can we drop shit off? Can we... Can we... Can we oh, we still have all our shit, too. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to drop off Horn of Life because it tells, something tells me we're going to need that right now. I'm just going to drop off anything I really don't need right now. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. I think I should, too. I didn't mean to click that. Definitely don't need the ATM card. Uh, psh, 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 uh, you can hold the KC bat for now because I like the bat we have. I didn't. I didn't want to sell the KC bat because we may want to use it again later. I don't know. Maybe. Um, and we'll drop off the rabbit foot. We're good. We're good with our uh, flame pendant for now, even though we probably don't need it. 
And I think that's all we're going to drop off for now. Um, actually, we'll get rid of the raw candy. I'll just keep the jerky. The jerky is a good healing thing. One, one healing thing is good. Anyway, let's talk to my mother. Hi, mother. Oh, Ness, are you tired from traveling on your adventure? Yeah. If you wish, you can stay here forever. I'll make you some tacos for you, and you can eat them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. God, this place is weird. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak, and now he's not. He's strong and beautiful. What's with this baby bird? Chee 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 chee! Onet was a quiet small town, wasn't it? Sure was, talking baby bird. What the fuck? Where are we? Come on into Magicant. Is Magicant a town? It says town right there. This is the realm of Magicant which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. Oh, don't worry, I will. God, this place is weird, man. The lights keep changing colors and shit. And look who's hiding behind here. Motherfucking dude. Ness! Maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. Then why the fuck are you talking? I talked to him and he disappeared. He disappeared. And he was in my mind. So, I mean, I can do whatever I want. Can we fight this guy or is he just going to walk around? He's a zombie. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. Okay. Um, neither will I. Can we talk to the sunflowers? Look at the sun. Face the sun and smile. Okay. Um, cool. Let's go in these buildings, I guess. Hey, look at Telly. Ness picked up the receiver. Can we call Dad? Ness, it's your dad. I deposited all your fucking rich-ass money in the fucking bank. <laughs> I'm so rich. I'm so rich. I'm rich, bitch. I ain't got shit to do right now, and I ain't quitting right now either. Chicken. Pee 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 pee. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. Oh yeah? What song is that? Pee 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 pee. Pee 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 pee. Pee 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 pee. What the hell are you? You look weird, my sir. My sir, my friend. Specializes in puddings and pendants. You like to buy some, wouldn't you? Sure. What do you got? Earth Pendant and Magic Pudding. I want both. Yes, please. Do I want to equip it? Yes, please. It makes me have one more defense, but I'm sure the Earth Pendant is more useful than the Flame Pendant at this point. I also want to buy one Pudding, because who knows what it does, but it probably is decent. Oh, phone call. Who are we calling? It's your dad. You've been out there a while. Yeah, I know. You didn't want me to quit when I talked to you on the phone two seconds ago, but now you want to interrupt my game just to tell me that you want me to quit right now. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny is we're kind of coming into a point where I am going to end the episode, but we'll go for a few more minutes. We can explore the magic cunt a little bit longer. We've only just ex scratched the surface of this place, I'm sure. Something tells me we're going to go on a journey through everything that we've done in this game in the form of Ness's mind hole. Like, look at this fuck. You destroyed my pride. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh, indeed, you stanky bastard. Hey, it's Magicant. Yeah? Magicant, I know. It's me. I'm when you, when you were younger. This is, oh, young Ness. Let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm trying to explore the town here. You're fucking distracting me. Dude, look at all these people. I'd like to take your time, because this country will disappear when you wake up. Okay. Um, okay. Peace. We haven't played together lately. Kya Uh, fresh. Ness! Pokey took my snack. That sucks. La la la. My name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. No thanks. Yeah. Long time no see, Ness. Who are all these people? Let's play. I'm already playing. Hey, look, a treasure chest. I'll take it. Psy Caramel? You damn right I'll Psy Caramel. Alright, what else we got around here? Fucking Pokey, of course. Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Nope. Next time I see your real bitch ass, I'm gonna kick it right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. That may not be sportsmanlike, but you know what? Pokey, you've already fucked me over enough. I don't mind kicking you square in the nuts. 
The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Do you want to sleep? Hell yeah, I want to do a dream within a dream. What is this, Inception? Now, see, that's not even a joke. That's a true reference to a movie that makes sense based on what we're doing here. We're inside my mind, and we're going to take a nap inside my mind. So, the Inception joke isn't played out here. It's the truth. Although we're not exactly planting dreams and all that, but we are within a dream within a dream within a dream. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone? What? I like how it has to remind me. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. Uh, yeah. What's up, Buzz Buzz? Oh, what the fuck? This is... Oh, the thing outside was his grave. What the hell are these people, Hawkmen? I am your courage. I follow you here to Magicant. My name? Let's say Flying Man. Wait, what? Frying Man? The Frying Man joins you. Okay, can we get more of them? Did you want to talk to me? I'm sorry. There's really not much to say. Ah. Sorry, I got a Skype message in my ear that was super loud. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Did you want to talk to me? I'm sorry. There's really not much to say. So these all got, um, are they all going to say that? So we got the courage. That was cool, but is that all we get, I guess? So just the courage. Okay, fine. Courage it is. I'm not, I'm not in the wrong, nothing wrong with courage to me. I mean, if Legend of Zelda Link is the Triforce courage, so that's cool. Ness, I still feel pain where you wounded me. I don't even remember you, dude. Wait, um, no, I don't remember you. You look kind of like Azora from the original Legend of Zelda, but that's about it. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Nobody wants sorrow. Did the music change? Wow. The music changed. Well then, the music changed. It seems like this is a good crossroads of life to end the episode. What do you think? So we got our courage, but we're inside of Ness's mind. Very, very strange indeed. This may be the weirdest place in the game. I know what I said about Moonside, but holy fuck. This is pretty amazing and weird as fuck. So in the next one, we'll continue on to this purple path and follow, follow the purple brick road and see where it leads us. Apparently, we're going to the Sea of Eden. We'll probably make it there in the next one. I can't imagine this place taking entirely a whole nother episode, but I could be wrong. Might be the longest episode, or uh, engine dungeon, engine dungeon, in the whole entire game. I'm going to shut up now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace!